Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a reading for the energy of the new moon. We have three piles to choose from. Pile one is this beautiful rose quartz. Pile two, citrine cluster. And pile three, jade. Can take a moment, close your eyes, see which one resonates with you, and look in the description down below for the timestamp to skip ahead to your reading. We'll see you there. All right, group number one. If you chose pile number one and the rose quartz stone, then this reading is for you. We have the two of cups reversed, king of wands upright. Eight of Wands reversed, Five of Cups reversed, and Seven of Pentacles reversed. So right off the bat, I can see that in this new moon cycle, this is a time of reflection for you where you're going within and working on your intuitive gifts, maybe having some sort of spiritual awakening, some sort of um, energy shift, some intuitive messages that are coming through to you because you're not out and about, you're not charging forward towards your goals and your relationships are kind of on the back burner at the moment um, with this energy here. The two of cups in reverse, it's like um, you might be having a falling out with somebody right now or realizing that there's relationships that you had once respected that are no longer serving you. And with this King of Wands, it's like that energy of <clears throat> intuition, of creativity and understanding um, your spiritual value and coming into that um understanding of spirituality and the gifts that you have and the value that you hold so you're not allowing other people to distract you to dissuade you and because you're kind of in this middle ground this period of transition with this eight of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles reverse it's like you're, there's not like a bunch of movement right now. There's not a bunch of forward movement. It's kind of this time of introspection, this time where you're working on your spiritual self, on your spiritual goals, on your spiritual journey. And with this five of cup in reverse, that really indicates to me that instead of feeling sorry for yourself, you're starting to realize the value in things you've gone through. You're starting to realize the value in the tragedies that you've had to face. And that's a really strong and powerful message for you, group number one. So let's get some supporting cards here. Here we have the Animal Oracle deck by Colette Baird and Reed. Pile number one, messages for the new moon energy. See what is going on in their journey here. Okay, so we have Peacock Spirit, let it shine. Beautiful. And then the four and six is a ten, so it's like a one. It's new beginnings. So let your truth shine through, group number one. During this new moon, it's a good time to release, let it shine, the truth. Release the hurt, release the pain. Allow it to come through. Maybe share it with somebody. Maybe share it with this person. Maybe share it with somebody who you feel has wronged you or has hurt you in some way and through sharing it you can heal it i just really feel like that's your heart has something on it right now especially with this reverse five of cups and this stagnant energy this non-movement and the two of cups in the reverse is usually a card of lovers so there's a little bit of pain happening you have something weighing on your heart that wants to come through 
and your spirit guides want you to know that you should let it shine through and it's going to bring great healing to you leap you go first the universe will catch you beautiful yes sometimes you have to take that leap of faith that when you share your truth that when <clears throat> you focus on your spiritual side and you focus on your feelings and your intuition things will work your logical brain wants to make sense of things all the time it is constantly telling us what we can and cannot achieve what we can and cannot do what we can and cannot say and your guides want you to know that it's safe for you to take a leap of faith to let it shine let your spirit shine through this might be a calling that you have that's been on your heart for a while and you've been scared to share it with others. But this could also be just um, sharing something from your past, something that's happened to you with somebody that allows you to heal it. And then we have no, wait, postpone, say no, which with this leap card um, might seem like it's counterintuitive, but this has to do with taking big action forward right now it's a time of healing you don't need to worry about um taking action on your goals about moving forward with um some plan that you have it's not about that right now this is a time of healing this is a time for emotions to come up to be healed and you need to let that truth shine through. This might even just be sharing that you have this idea, that you have this goal without the pressure that you have to take action on it right away. And you'll, <clears throat> in this journey, especially with this King of Wands upright, you're really getting into a state where you're very intuitive and you're tapping into your intuition and your intuition will let you know when the time is right to move forward, when the time is right for you to begin to say to take action and this could also be saying no this could be having the boundaries with these people that hurt you having the boundaries with the people who have done things to you that you don't agree with you can say no you can let that shine through if no is your truth let it shine through group number one we have water the overflow beautiful beautiful very emotional card so yeah this is a time of emotions for you right now there's a lot of healing coming up for you and sometimes healing can be um very triggering it's not uncommon for people to want to just skip that phase of the healing journey of their spiritual awakening because it hurts it can be hard um to feel but you have to feel it to heal it so with this water card, it's really letting me know that you have a lot of emotions that are bubbling up to the surface in this time of awakening for you and that you can let them shine through. You don't have to repress them anymore. Look how happy she is. She's so relieved letting all of this shine through, letting it come out to be healed, to be put in the light. So group number one, you have something that's coming up for you right now. Trust your innocence. Wow. Someone really hurt you. And I think that there's a part of you to this day that has blamed yourself in the situation. And with this card, it's like, trust that you were innocent and that you didn't know any better. Okay, stop blaming yourself. Feel the pain, feel the hurt, let it come through you. But do not blame yourself. You can let go of that burden. You can let go of the weight on your shoulders that says that you are in any way to blame. Trust your innocence. You are innocent. Really powerful message for you, group number one. This new moon. With the new moon, it can be a really great time for release as well so that you can start to set new intentions. So let whatever comes up, 
come up, maybe do a burning ceremony. It's going to take a card from this chakra deck to see what chakra you need to work on right now. And honestly, do the burning ceremony and set a new intention, set a new goal. You don't have to go forward with it right now, but what do you want to achieve in your life? What do you want your life to look like? And this doesn't have to be materially. Do you want to feel joy every day? That is a worthwhile goal to set, group number one. Do you want a relationship where you feel like you can be yourself? Okay. We got the third eye chakra. Anya chakra. What did I say? Very intuitive right now. This is your spiritual awakening. Your third eye is opening and you're starting to see things from a different perspective. The third eye is all about perspective. It's about seeing things in a different light. It's also all this blue and this water. Look at that. And the moon card. The moon, water, blue. This is all about emotions. It is about healing. It is about going with the flow. It's about allowing yourself to feel so that you can heal. So a lot of healing going on right now for you, group number one. My heart goes out to you. Make sure that you protect your energy, that you take a little break from society take a break from other people you don't need to say yes right now to social engagements to activities that you feel out of place just give yourself the time to be alone to rest recoup be held and go through this healing process this journey through your spiritual awakening that's all i have for you today group number one i hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to be updated with new content. Bye. All right, group number two. If you chose pile number two and the citrine cluster, this reading is for you. So we have the Knight of Cups reversed, the Nine of Swords reversed, the Eight of Pentacles upright, Three of Cups reversed, and the Queen of Pentacles upright. So right off the bat, I have this sense that you feel at the moment like you need to stay where you are. You need to be in this situation that you're not totally comfortable in, that you kind of feel um, this looming fear and mistrust about in order to achieve your financial and material goals. So with this new moon, this is you feeling um, like you don't have the power, you don't have the resources, you don't have the capabilities to move from where you are without, without um, what's the word I'm looking for? Putting your goals on the back burner without putting your goals on the back burner, without jeopardizing the ability to achieve abundance so that you can be generous and fruitful in your material wealth and in your life. So this is a time of reflection. This is a time for you to consider that you might not be looking at things in the right light you may have a misconstrued view of your current situation and sometimes that requires a perspective flip because with this um nine of swords in reverse king of or knight of cups in reverse and the three of cups in reverse it's really um there's a lot of fear and negativity surrounding you chipping away at your goals so 
I can tell you are working hard. You, you feel this need, this desire to move forward, to gain, to prosper. But in your current circumstances, it's like you feel that you don't have other options to do that. It's like you can only see one way to achieve. And that's making you feel very stuck and very limited. So let's get some oracle cards for clarification here. Group number two. Spirit Animal Oracle back from Colette Baron Reed. What do we need to know? It's a new moon cycle for group number two. Be at home, Wombat Spirit. Interesting. Interesting. This is about taking some time. And being considerate of your options. Taking time to relax, to recharge, to regroup. Because right now your mind is wandering so much that you're missing opportunities. You're missing um, a perspective that could serve you better, that can help you to feel less stuck. So enjoy your time. Enjoy your time to yourself. Take time to reflect, especially during the new moon. It's a great time to set new intentions. Maybe do a, a ritual at home. And pentacles deal with your home life too. So this could be to do with your family as well. Like, do you need to spend some more time with your family and get what their perspectives are? See what they're thinking about the situation. So you're steadily chipping away at your goals, but you don't feel like you're getting to that. But you don't feel like you're getting to that place where you feel liberated. This Queen of Pentacles, at the end here, I feel like you're moving into a cycle that feels more liberating, but it's gonna take a perspective shift and it's gonna take you um, going and being at home and resting and recuperating and looking at things differently. So what can we get for clarification here? Group number two, we have birthing a new age, birthing new creations, Dreaming a new world into being. Yes. Okay. So this has to do with this stuck feeling. You're not stuck. Stuckness is an illusion. It is just a matter of you not seeing the whole picture at the present moment. Um, you, it's, you need to get rid of this fear, this um, mistrust of the situation. And by, by, reallocating your attention to birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. The new moon is about setting intentions, setting intentions for what you want, what you desire in your life. So take some time, be at home, spend a couple days, think about this, write this down, write it out. And don't let your logical mind even play a part in here. Just get um, a journal and free write what do you want in your life? Be as creative as possible. And then shift your attention to how to create that. Okay? How can you create that? And maybe even do a new moon ritual for this. It would be a very beautiful way to shift your energy away from the fear, the anxiety, what's not working, and focus on what can work for you. We have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Beautiful. Yes, this is a time of awakening. And actually, Pile 1 had a lot of energy to do with um, their spiritual awakening as well. So this is a time for you to get real with yourself, to stop focusing on the, the negative and focus on what do you want? What do you, who do you want to be? Who do you want to show up as in the world? And don't think about what other people want or what you should be doing or shouldn't be doing based on your parents or society or your spouse or your kids. Of course, um, take into consideration what's best for everybody, but 
most of all, how can you create what's best for everyone by being the best version of yourself? Because a lot of people miss that. Being the best version of yourself will bring the best version of you to the table for your family and will be an all-around reward for everybody. So, awakening, some healing going on. Integrating what you've learned to the present moment. And we have two cards here. The infinite. Beautiful. Yes, birthing a new age, the infinite. You have infinite potential, infinite ideas. And all you have to do is open yourself to them. Focus on what can go right. Focus on the positive. Focus on integrating everything you've learned to this point to this new dream, this new desire. Set the intention. We have grace, gracious receptivity. So when you slow down, you rest, you be with yourself, and you take your mind off of what is wrong, you can receive you can be open to receive. Look, she's sitting there with your hands open. I'm ready for my download. I'm ready for my upgrades. I'm ready to receive divine wisdom, divine intelligence, love, joy, peace, enlightenment. All of that is yours if you desire to claim it with this new moon energy group number two. So I feel like there's a lot of powerful and positive things happening in your life right now especially as you move through this cycle of feeling trapped of feeling like you don't have a choice of feeling like you don't have options because you do you have infinite options look at infinite options group number two you just have to be receptive to them be open to receiving them I'm going to pull one last card from this chakra deck to see which chakra you need to work on the most right now for this new moon cycle. Group number two. We have the solar plexus chakra. Angels and masters, 33. So 33 is about the divine masters that came before us. It is like... Gandhi, Jesus Christ, anyone that you resonate with who is a leader, Lao Tzu, that have walked before us, your spirit guides, and they are here with you. They are here to guide you. They want to get through to you. They want you to receive. They want you to be open. They have beautiful ideas and downloads for you. So this new moon is about creating a space in your home that is open to receiving these new downloads, this new intuition, because there's so much light coming for you, group number two. You just have to turn your attention away from the darkness, turn your attention away from the fear and open to possibility, abundance, joy, and it will bring you a great amount of stability and prosperity. That's all I have for you right now, group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, share it with anyone you think would gain value and subscribe down below if you haven't already to be updated with new content. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, group number three, if you chose pile number three and this jade, at least I think it's jade. It was from like these tumbled rivered stones that I got from my uncle. Um, this reading is for you and the energy of this new moon. So we have the Nine of Pentacles upright, the Star in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Wands upright, and the Three of Wands upright. So the energy I'm getting from this reading is that you have achieved a great amount of material abundance thus far, but this energy right here is um, riddled with arrogance, potential deceit or betrayal because of the focus on material abundance and material wealth. So it's like you've accomplished a lot thus far and there is a lot 
of options for you on the horizon. Um, but it's like having this shift from this energy of complete focus on materialistic things that is really going to help you move out of this energy where you don't feel you can trust other people or maybe there's somebody in your life right now through this new moon um, phase that is judging you or that you feel that you cannot trust that has to do with money. I don't know if it is a a colleague, a business partner, um, someone that you work with, maybe a family member, but there is an energy of distrust and manipulation here um, that is around money. So be wary this new moon cycle of maybe lending money, um, getting into a business deal with somebody or anything of that nature because there is some underlying energies that are at play here that have to do with money. So I just pulled a card from the Animal Oracle Tarot deck and we have Dolphin Spirit. This and that are true. Interesting. So how does that play into this reading? This and that are true. So it is true that um, there is this energy, this energy that maybe there's someone that you can't quite trust, but maybe it's you, if that makes sense. This and that are true. So there's things that are at play, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can just be true that it is what it is and that you don't have to hate or judge or be wary of other people. You can just know that this is a time where you need to focus on things other than money, other than material gains, so that you can move forward. There is opportunity on the horizon. There is things in the works for you group number three it's just a matter of having the perspective that you don't need to be right other people don't need to be right that this and that are true two people can be simultaneously right when they say different seemingly conflicting things so be um <laughs> i'm just getting the word meddlesome in my head so do not meddle, okay? Group number three, this is a warning. Do not meddle during this time in other people's affairs, other people's money affairs, and stay to yourself. Do not allow other people to meddle in your affairs during this time. Because as this is saying, this is not our truth, so there's no point in arguing. It's not going to bring you any joy or any peace. It's just a matter of knowing your worth, holding your value. You don't have to um, inflict it on others. There is so much opportunity on the horizon for you when you can recognize that and just stand tall in your truth. We've got some supporting cards from this Oracle deck. Okay, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Beautiful. Yes, there's a lot you have created. Like, a lot. You've been working hard. So do not let that be sideswiped from you at this time. Do not allow others' opinions or judgments of you or towards you um, dip you into a period that you feel bad for yourself or that you feel you're being used or betrayed because sometimes that's just our perception of the situation. Sometimes when we feel like we're being used or betrayed or people are taking advantage of us, it's as simple as us saying no. And we take our power back. We don't have to see things from that perspective. That is our saboteur coming up and judging other people's intentions. This and that are true. Maybe it's true or maybe it's not true, but let's focus on what is true, that you have achieved a lot, that you are creating heaven on earth, and that is all that matters. So do not get sideswiped by other people's opinions. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past life. Unbound. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a lot of healing in energies in all of these readings today. So you are releasing this fear, this 
manipulation, this toxic bond with somebody in your life right now that has to do with money. You are coming out of a period where you can release the past. You can release the anger. You can release the hurt. Look, he's looking out on the horizon. It doesn't matter what happened. This and that are true. Remember, it doesn't rem matter how we spin it, how we look at it, or how we manipulate the information to make us look good or bad. That's in the past. You're focusing on the future. You're looking out on the horizon with opportunity and creativity. The Queen of Wands is very creative. And she sees opportunity where others don't. And with this um, lotus flower, that's crown chakra, that's divine connection, that's moving forward, that's creating. This is a very creative energy. So do not get stuck and you're releasing this old energy of fear, manipulation, not allowing others to dominate your opinions or your life or push you around. And just taking your energy and focus off them all together. Getting some more cards from the Beyond Lemuria Oracle deck. So beautiful. Yes, I feel like you're really moving into a time where there's a lot of healing occurring. Look at these ropes. They're being burned off and they're being unleashed. Evolution. Beautiful. You're evolving. Yes, lots of blues and water energy. So this is a very emotional time. Look at all this water as well. And that's what's allowing you to be unbound. So almost every pile, I swear to God, had a beautiful um, healing point. So this moon must be, um, a, oh, it's a Cancer new moon. So that makes sense. The Cancer is all about emotions and going with the flow and healing things within us. So if you've been feeling extra emotional these days, group number three, you are not the only one. Uh, let me tell you. So you are evolving into your highest self. You're creating heaven on earth. It's happening. The work is paying off. You have focused a lot on your abundance, on your financial security, and making a good life for yourself. So you just have to release the energy that makes you feel stuck, that makes you feel fear, that makes you feel like you're being held back. Dolphins also water, so lots of emotions right now. And then we have Earth, nurture nature. Beautiful. So during this new moon, get grounded. Ground your energy in the physical plane. Do yoga, meditation, go outside, put your feet on the earth. Do mindfulness routines where you go for a walk and you feel um the pavement on your feet, you feel the wind in your hair, you notice how each step feels, you notice your surroundings, the intricacies of the leaves on the trees, all of those things are helpful to ground your energy because it can be very easy to get back in our head about who said what and who's doing what and how our lives are being affected by it. So by grounding your energy, especially with this green, it's a very earthy nature vibe. You can move through these emotions much easier, much more rooted and not get swept away by them. So we're gonna get one last card from this chakra oracle deck to see which chakra you should work on during this new moon cycle to help you through this time of healing. Okay. We have play. Wow. That is two dolphin cards. This is your heart chakra. That's so suiting for this reading because green. What was I saying? Earth vibes, right? So our heart chakra has to do with air, breathing, loving, compassion. So when we step into compassion, to forgiveness, to seeing other perspectives than our own, we are able to heal and feel and move forward. And it says play 20 and 20. Look up the numerology of 20 group number three. I think that's very resonant for you right now. And the number two has to do with love and balance. So it's finding that balance in your life. You're out of balance right now because of this extreme focus 
on material gain because of the extreme focus on who was right and who was wrong and how hard you're working and judging other people on how hard they're working or not working or who did what and who said what. And it's just letting that all go, having compassion for yourself, for having compassion for what you've been through, for the mistakes you've made, and having compassion for others, knowing that we're all human, we all make mistakes, we all have our own things going on, and inviting play into your life, group number group number three. Look at all those dolphins. They're so silly, and they're so playful and joyous. So step into that feeling of joy and play and maybe even go swimming. So I'm getting a lot of water vibes here. So that's a lot of emotion for one, but um, with dolphins, they like to swim around and that can be a very healing practice to just get in the water, feel the water on your skin. That could be a really great, great way to ground yourself and feel that earth energy, that um, healing energy that water brings and wash away the negativity, wash away the past, wash away what no longer serves you. Maybe doing a shower or bath ritual. You can look those up on YouTube and, um, you know, really create the intention of scrubbing away the toxicity, scrubbing away the negative, um, garbage and actually healing the wounds of your past during this new moon. So I hope this resonated with you, group number three. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if it did and subscribe down below if you haven't already to be updated with new content. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.